today I will be showing you guys how I achieve glass skin. First, of course, you need to really moisturize your skin. I already applied my e.l.f. Daily Moisturizer. It has um, cocoa butter, shea butter, all the butters. My eyebrows, so I just outlined them first. The BH Cosmetics um, Total Coverage Concealer, and I filled them in with the e.l.f. Pommy. Set it with the e.l.f. eyebrow gel. I take my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, um, the pore minimizing one, and just place it where my pores are the largest, which is right by my nose. Take my Hard Candy Mattifying Primer. See, since glass skin is more glowy, you don't really want to use too many, too much of mattifying stuff but I have to apply this where I get matte the, I mean where I get oily the most because you want to look glowy not oily the Smashbox regular photo finish primer I like to like spot conceal so wherever I have the most um, spots or whatever and like the side around my mouth because the discoloration on my nose side and like wherever I see some marks that's why I just set it and everything out and like the big thing about glass skin is making sure it don't look like you have on makeup you can take any look at highlighter you want but this one I got from five below my finger and just dab some, some but where I usually highlight at, like my nose, right here, and just tap it out. Foundation, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I'm in the shade 440. Squeeze out a pump and a half, and just dot that all over my face. Dusky spray. And then you start blending. So now I'm going to be taking the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Deep Dark 54 and just placing it underneath my eyes. I'm also blending it out and I'm taking the BH Cosmetics It's my Ray Palette in the shade Mocha. It's like a pressed powder and I, do, I like to use it underneath my eyes. It like The pressed powder makes the skin look less cakey unless like you actually put something on. That's what I really like and you can control the amount you want it to add on there. Which is why I really like to do this with my glass skin. And I also use that to set wherever I crease the faces. So that's my smell lines. I'm taking the concealer again and just priming my eyelids. Honestly, you don't have to do this. But I like to take that pinkish reddish shade. And just putting that all over the top of my eyelid. Not, not the, type, the, whole, the whole eyelid. And I'm taking this ColourPop Single Eyeshadow. It's a... Super Shock Shadow in XO. Hey, hey, go down, down, baby. Anyways, and I just take that and place it all over where I just place the other shade. It's all over my, my eyelid. And now I'm curling my lashes. And I'm taking the Tarte <laughs> Man Eater Mascara. And I'm just gonna place that all over my lashes. Put a little brief, like, voiceover part. Now we're going back to talking. So, as you guys saw, I did my eyeshadow this is like what i do every time i'm about to go somewhere in the color pop lippy stick in the shade faded pretty sure they discontinued this so i'm sorry but if you have any cream blush that you guys really like to use just use that so me personally i like to do my blush like this and just blend it out with my finger again 
Beauty Highlighter and Blush Gems. I had this for a minute. It's like a base highlighter for me. And then I used the Laura Geller highlighter in the shade Gilded Honey. I just used this kind of brush. So going first in with the e.l.f. one. I'll go on my nose first. And I like to drag it upwards. So like up here. My temple. And now I keep this bow. This in my inner corner. And then the brow bone. The add one right here. A small one. One of them gotta be bigger than the other one. And one here. Um, lipstick in Coral Crush. And just apply this. Like. So the center should be more pigmented and it should fade outwards. The ColourPop um, Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Souffle. Just do the same exact thing. And I like a gloss. So I'm just going to take this clear lip gloss you can get from any beauty supply store. Spray my face one more time with this spray. Yeah, this is the final look do you guys like it so this is how my skin looks i'm gonna try to be closer you don't have to do the eyes you can just leave your eyes a blank that's what i usually do when i go to school but my skin looks really good and glowy and healthy yeah if you guys like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more just like it. I know my makeup videos don't get that much views. However, this is something that I like to do also is about <laughs> K-pop. But yeah, a new a K-pop video will be coming out before this. So by the time this come out, the K-pop video will be out. This come out after. So yeah, bye. Yeah.